Happy Poetry Month. We are still enjoying poetry together for the month of April. I'm Miss Rachel from William Jean's Library. Thanks for joining us. Today I have some animal selections for you from a book called Pug and Other Animal Poems. These are by Valerie Wirth and the pictures in this book are by Steve Jenkins who does lots of illustrations and artwork um, for many children's books and almost all of them are animals and they're amazing. So you can check out some of his other picture books to see some more of his artwork. And I'm only going to read a few poems from this book today. So if you enjoy them and you want to read more animal poems by Valerie Wirth, you can check this out once the library reopens. It's a little glare, sorry. Pug and other animal poems. And I'm going to read some of these poems for you today with the permission of the publisher, Farr strauss Giraud. We are going to start with one called Rabbits. And I'll read the poems first and then I'll show you the illustration that goes along with it. Rabbits. I like the way they ramble out of hiding in the evening, daring to be seen, but staying far enough away for safety and feed along the grassy fringe. Unhastily, in peaceful thought, it seems. There are the illustrations to go along with. Rabbits. All right, the next one I'm going to read is the poem that goes with the title of the book, Pug. With their goggling eyes and stumpy noses, wrinkled brows, and hairy moles, they're what some people might call plug ugly. Perhaps because for dogs, they look a lot like people. There's the so ugly that they're cute pug. The next one I'm going to read is about one of my favorite animals in the summertime. It is not mosquitoes, but it is another insect that we see when the weather starts to get warmer and we're spending more time outside in the evenings. It's the firefly. Firefly. Tracked along the glitter of its slow constellation, scooped from the dark and caged in the hollow of two hands. It fills their cavern with a cold pulse of enigmatic gold green. Revelation before slipping out between crossed thumbs and slyly winking away, leaving the skin tinged with an alien astringent insect smell. The next time you catch a firefly, see if you can smell your fingers and if you smell that alien astringent insect smell that a firefly might leave on your hands. There are many more. Oh, I didn't show you the picture. Sorry about that. There is the firefly. There are many more poems and wonderful illustrations in this book, but I'm just going to read one more. This is not necessarily one of my favorite animals, but I really do like this poem, and I hope you do too. Rat. Any ruin, his bower, his pleasure. Any trash, his treasure. The worse, the better. Out of our litter, he builds a throne. King of his castle of old rag and bone. 
there he is, having lots of fun with all the garbage and the litter. Thanks for joining me today for some animal poems. And I do have some more books with animal poetry that I'll be reading as we go through the month. So I hope you will keep joining me to celebrate National Poetry Month, the month of April. I miss you all, and I hope that you will come and see us soon, as soon as the library reopens. And in the meantime, keep tuning in. Bye.